Hey guys, so in this video we're gonna talk about how to spider effectively using the bob suite. Uh, so in the previous video we, we talked about like you know how to set up the bob suite and, and intercept the traffic etc. Now in this one uh, we, we'll talk about one of the uh, I guess one of the first feature of the bob suite which is spidering. And spidering comes into like you know uh, uh, sort of I would consider as an info gathering phase for any penetration test. Like you know penetration testing has of several phases, uh, starting from info gathering to scanning and testing and reporting and etc. Uh, you could add up like you know several of the steps uh, depending on like you know person to person. But the first and foremost step is doing the information gathering, and that is that is where like you know spidering is really helpful because it, what it what it does like the bug spider it could actually help you like you know crawl throughout the application without much of the effort like there are options like you can do active spidering versus passive so uh, let me jump on to the uh, Firefox and and Bob Suite once you open up the Bob Suite uh, like the third tab that you would see it's a spider and now it has like you know uh, two uh, tabs uh, in between the like you know within the spider one is control the other one is options so let's let's start with the control so here it talks about like you know the spider status whether it's running so like for example if you have like you know a big application with the thousand links and like you know a thousand sub pages and etc uh, it it you can see that like you know you have uh, the request queue form queue if you want to clear them you can you can do it from here also you can toggle like you know this is like you can pause the spider you can run the spider and while you are doing the passive spidering I generally keep it running so whenever I'm I'm like you know manually browsing through the application uh, the spider would like you know uh, spider the application uh, uh, by default now the spider scope uh, it generally so any application to be spider you first have to define the spiders uh, the scope uh, scope uh, for the burp and this is not just applicable to spider but for any of the features so for example if you want to do like a scanning then first burp will ask like whether you want to add this application to the scope or not because uh, it might happen that you are scanning x y and z dot com but x y and z is also calling like you know or importing scripts from the other abc dot com and which is maybe out of scope and that's why you really want to define the scope because you don't want to scan any random website without like you know uh, without notifying them or, or and like you know otherwise they would block you or something so that's the main thing and it says like you know define the target tab so here you need to define uh, which uh, which application is in scope so spider can uh, like you know burp can actually spider the application now if you go to the options uh, these are some of the default option checked out I I generally like them uh, so like you know again these things you can check so for example check robot.txt uh, this is uh, you want to do it because you just want to when you're doing the pen testing you want to verify whether this file contains any uh, you know uh, good information because a robot.txt will uh, tell the uh, search engine whether to allow or disallow access to certain pages and, and part of the application now here it would also say like you know detect custom ignore links and and stuff like that but uh, this is uh, I guess a good number like which they have given like by default 50 so a I have not seen generally uh, several pages where you have more than 50 request parameters uh, parameterized request so uh, this is good good information and then maximum link depth uh, uh, what that is is for example you are on abc.com and within that you have one link now if you click on that there is another link and if you click on that there is another link so uh, uh, what it what spider burp spider will do it it will go up to five level and after that it will stop so but if you know your application has like you know uh, like there are 10 levels or, or six levels you can change it right here passive spidering you can always keep it on uh, so like you know even if you are if you do not want because what what it will do it it's just gonna send the get request and like you know see if the response uh, if if there uh, if the burp is getting response or not uh, and and what is passive spidering is you are not asking burp to actually spider the application but it's just doing spidering in the back end when you are 
like you know um, are going through the application so for example I have this application and if I'm clicking here now what Burf will do is Burf will uh, click or go through all the links you have available on this page so for example contact ultra mutual and also like you know uh, um, how the burp logic works is really simple like it will go to the source of the page and it will just traverse all the links that it finds and that's a passive spidering now the active spidering is different because you are actually telling burp to do active spidering and like you know find all the links in the uh, application while burp is doing passive scanning it also it would also like you know come across various forms such as uh, like you know contact us form sign up form register form and stuff like that and and those forms if you want you can uh, tell burp whether to submit by default or probably ask you so here here's like you know it says don't submit forms then it won't set the post request here it will say prompt for the guidance you will get a pop up whether and you can fill out the information by yourself or oh, and you can also say like you know you are only using submit following rules so for example it will find the surname then it will say like you know winter if it's name address one main street so it's gonna fill out the information by itself so if you know any particular field in your application then you can edit here uh, by any uh, using any of this menu or you can also say like you know prompt for guidance uh, I generally do not uh, do a prompt or or don't the only reason is uh, when you're spidering a big app uh, you know you will get a pop-up every now and then and to avoid that pop-ups uh, I generally uh, go with the automatically and then the don't submit forms again uh, I do want to submit the forms because sometimes what happens within the app is when you submit the form then you go to the next level and then like you know if you don't do that then you would never figure out that particular link or page is accessible uh, for you or not now uh, next thing is application login this is very interesting and uh, this is similar to form submission the only thing is here uh, you like you know whether you can say do not submit the login forms prompt handle or automatically submit the credentials we'll see the demo of it like you know how it differs if you choose uh, prompt for guidance versus don't submit versus automatically etc so we'll see the demo uh, uh, right after this one uh, then spider engine uh, this is uh, it depends on like you know uh, how what's the threshold and and what's the bandwidth on the application server but these are these are the default numbers like there will be a 10 threads and you can also do it like one or like you know five I usually keep it uh, anything anything between five to ten uh, request headers uh, these are the default headers which will be you know sent out uh, during making a request so uh, this is the website uh, we have and, and we saw it last time as well when we were intercepting the traffic uh, using the burp suite and now first thing we want to do is we want to add this into the scope of our burp suite so go here go to the scope uh, you can add and press ok you can always use the advanced control uh, like you know if you have any specifications such as you only want to uh, like you know put the HTTPS side into the scope or just HTTP you can also define the host or IP range also the port number and file so for example uh, uh, the, like if you want to scan the entire site you can like you know uh, write little regex like just everything after uh, demo.testfile.net will be in scope but uh, for example if you just want to do for example okay I think I have intercept on so that's why it's not going Yes, yeah, so if you just want to do after index.gsp, you can define that one as well in, into the scope. Now, uh, for our purposes, uh, I'm, I just used the uh, normal, like you know, uh, normal scope. Now, we want to, uh, what we want to do is we want to uh, spider this particular site. Now, as you can see, we do not have much response here. Uh, and uh, just to give you a little demo of this particular uh, window so here on the left hand side you will see all the host or IP or anything that burp will come across while uh, like you know you are while passive or active spidering here are the actual content so like you know here are the request that burp sent and then the response received so uh, for example the first one you see there was a get request sent and then the response was uh, received 
same way index and then the response now all these things which is which are grayed out so burp sent the request but there was no response uh, from the server uh, now let's let's first perform the active spidering so now if you see what I have done is I have said like you know for the application login do not submit login forms and now if you go here you see there is a login form but I'm not gonna submit it or, or let, let's just put like you know prompt for the guidance and, and we'll see how we want to deal with it so uh, first we want to say spider this host now if you go here you would see this numbers are changing and there you go uh, now we got the prompt like you know whether you want to submit this form or not I would say okay let's just ignore this form so now per pretty much did all the spidering it made 286 requests there's nothing in queue that means the spider uh, is completed and if you go here now we have much more uh, database like you know uh, much more detailed links that uh, we have access to and all this means is burp has received 200 or some sort of response like you know in this case there was 302 found and, and things like that now one thing you noticed because we did not log into the page we are not able to see anything post login because burp could not go beyond the login page and that's why it couldn't spider the application now uh, let's do the uh, oh, like you know the same exercise again but this time we're gonna say yes we're gonna submit the form and what I want to do is I want to submit the credentials I want Bob to submit the credentials so for example in this one the username is jsmith password is demo1234 uh, so when nah, like an instead of prompting for the uh, username and password Burp is gonna submit uh, the page by itself so let's do that uh, I'm just gonna do the intercept on okay so we have the uh, like you know uh, screen and login screen now it doesn't matter if you do it like from the login screen or not as long as you just do this part of this host it's gonna do and now you see we made I guess burp has made several other requests then the previous one so let's see uh, okay there you go so this time uh, this is the easiest way to kind of notice whether burp was able to successfully log in or not now if you see like you know there was burp was able to access the logout.jsp and other thing is you can see kind of like you know uh, burp submitted do login.jsp page and now if you go to the request link you can see uh, the username and password was submitted into the request uh, in into the login screen as well and that's why you know you got 302 found and, and post login page so this is the way you can uh, spider the application and then also like you know some of the pages might still not be accessible for burp because there are not no reference from it and no reference of it like you know in within the application that you can do like you know just click through all the pages by yourself and like you know that way burp will know uh, which uh, links to like you know kind of scroll and everything and generally my method doing is when I get an application I do the active spiring but then I also do sort of passive spiring so I at least click through all the links you have in the application so burp knows and then uh, like you know uh, underneath the main level of links like the top layer the second layer uh, burp could figure out by itself and, and kind of spider by itself and after getting all this information this is like you know really helpful because you could see uh, sort of like you know directory application directory so if you click here you can see uh, okay so you have admin tab that means uh, it might have like you know some sensitive information then you have bank page and then you know several other things and then also uh, one other thing that I use it for most purposes so if you're using any any automated scanners uh, then what you can do is you can pretty much export all these details like export all the links and then feed into the scanner and uh, this is sort of like you know extra check that I always do because all the scanners have their own spidering feature but since the with using the burp we did it ourselves we have more confidence that we covered everything 
and so that's why I feed this data into the scanner so scanner when they run the scan when any scanner like you know automated scanner runs the scan it would make sure that it covers everything that it has to uh, from the scanning perspective and, and didn't miss anything so that's the main uh, like you know uh, a few advantages of doing the spidering but yeah uh, if you are doing a uh, penetration testing then this is the first step that you have to do for any applications so that is all I want to discuss uh, in this video but but uh, you know in the comment section do let me know if you are using any other technique to kind of spiral the application uh, any other tools that uh, you have experience with uh, I would love to know that as well and uh, please uh, write down any questions you have in the comment section I'll, I'll try to respond as soon as possible if you like the video uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more uh, cybersecurity related videos and thank you for your time